A truce between Israel and Hamas began at 7 a.m. local time on Friday after an initial delay. Civilian hostages held by militants are expected to be released as part of the breakthrough diplomatic deal. Despite the truce, there was initial Israeli artillery fire and warnings of rockets from Gaza. Heavy weapons fire in southern Israel stopped around 7.18 a.m. local time. Sounds of small arms fire inside Gaza were reported about 20 minutes later, but major hostilities ceased. Thirteen women and children held in Gaza are set to be freed, along with 39 Palestinian prisoners. The four-day truce marks the first sustained break in hostilities after nearly seven weeks of conflict. The pause allows for a significant release of hostages and the entry of much-needed humanitarian aid. 200 trucks with food, medicine, and water, as well as fuel, will enter Gaza daily during the truce. Israel declared war on Hamas after the militant group's October 7 terror attack, resulting in over 1, 200 deaths. More than 200 people remain captive in Gaza from mass abductions on October 7, according to Israeli military figures. Qatar announced the release of 50 hostages, with potential for an extension and more releases. The deal includes the release of 150 Palestinian prisoners during the four-day humanitarian pause. Most of the prisoners are male teenagers, with some women, according to an Israeli government list. Families of hostages pressured the Israeli government for action, leading to the diplomatic breakthrough. International pressure is growing for increased humanitarian support for the people of Gaza. The total number of people killed in Gaza since October 7 is reported as 14,854 by Hamas authorities. Israel's defense minister anticipates a forceful continuation of the military operation against Hamas after the truce. A ceasefire monitoring committee will oversee the truce implementation, and neighboring countries express support for the diplomatic efforts. This is it for now, and please do not forget to like and subscribe for more updates and other current events videos.